Hey guys, uh, Nick Holden here, aka DVD Collector 96, and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so I just got out of work, and the last video vlog kind of saying that I did like this was with my Queen of Hell. We went to watch The Little Mermaid and since you guys like the video and I got a lot of comments, I'm going to be doing a blog review uh, about my experience going to watch the new Barbie movie. Um, I already got my tickets. Um, for me today is... Uh, sorry, the day I'm recording this video is Wednesday. I have tickets from next Friday. I'm going to my usual CMX theater and this time I'm not going alone. I'm taking my mom with because she's dying to watch the movie as well. And I'm dying to watch the movie, I'm not going to lie. For all the trailers and all the things I've been watching on YouTube, I'm super excited to watch the movie. Um, the music, the colors, like everything about it. So since I'm going to be doing a little vlog, I just don't want to be doing just the vlog and like the review of the movie. So, for this special time, I'm thinking that I want to go with a pink outfit to the premiere of the movie. I mean, it's not the premiere of the movie. Um, I, I think the movie premieres uh, Thursday and I'm going that Friday, like around 8 p.m. So, I got out of work and I got to the closest mall that I have uh, from my house. If you live in Miami, uh, how are you feeling with this uh, hot summer that we have going on right now? But yes, um, I hit them all first. I'm going to go maybe to H&M or Forever 21 or a store like that. I don't want to spend a lot of money on an outfit and basically I just want to wear something pink. If I found something that says can or something like that, it will be better. But basically I'm just trying to look for something pink and I'm definitely sure that I'm going to be wearing my Blue Skies uh, Converse. Uh, the combination of blue and pink, I think that's kind of a can look. I don't have blonde hair, <laughs> I have super black, black, black hair, uh, but I love my hair, so I love my color hair, that's what I mean, so no complaints there. Uh, but yes, uh, join me on this day as I go to the mall. If I don't find anything uh, at the mall, I probably will go to Walmart, and if I don't find anything on Walmart that I doubt it, I might be going to Ross. I don't like going to Ross that much, but um, you actually found uh, good clothes and not a bad price. So yeah, uh, join me on this adventure if you're interested. So like I said, it's super hot here in Miami. I just passed uh, the food court and I'm tempted to get a milkshake or something like that. But I want to try to go to the source first to see if I found my outfit. And then after that, I would uh, definitely think if I want to get a new check or something like that. So the first stop that I'm going to be uh, visiting, and I hope the only one, because to be honest, I'm not a big fan of just going to stores and look for clothes, will be H&M. I almost found every single time whatever I want here, so wish me luck. Okay guys, so I have to get out of H&M uh, because they didn't have anything uh, pink color related. I didn't find anything like I like at least and I came out to Forever 21. I have two t-shirts that I'm going to be trying because of the sizes, but I'm definitely going to buy the size, the, the t-shirts here. So my first idea was to try to find a pink uh, bottom pants or something like that, but I haven't found anything like that. So I might be wearing the shirt that I'm just going to get, and I might be getting like a blue uh, jean pant with the blue Converse, but let me see if I found anything that I like. Okay guys, so I just got out of uh, Forever 21. I got the t-shirt that I showed you on the mirror. I love that. I only spent, well, I'm going to be telling you how much I spent at the end of the, uh, like this part when I'm out of the mall. But I only spent like 20 bucks, what I think is not bad for uh, a t-shirt that quality. Uh, now the bottom part is going to be the difficult part to find. But if I don't find it, I'll just wear a regular jean pants, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just getting out of Macy, there, Macy for men's, and I got the bottom part of the outfit. 
Uh, it was a success to come to the mall. I got my clothes. Now I'm going to be deciding uh, if I want to eat something or not. I'm still going to figure that out. But I'm so excited for next Friday and I can't believe I have an outfit for the movie premiere of Barbie. Uh, I'm going to be showing you all the cool things that my movie theater put outside for the fans of the movie. The marketing of this movie has been amazing and I actually cannot wait to see it. So see you guys again soon next Friday. I'm sorry guys, before the, before the Friday premiere, I have to show you what I got and how much money that I spent. So the first thing that I got was on Forever 21. I got the t-shirt and I ended up spending $29.39. I showed you guys when I was trying and all, but for this material, I think it's a really great uh, t-shirt and super cute because you have a uh, pink, uh, blue and white and it's going to combine with my bottom pants and my uh, blue converse. And then the pants, I got them on Macy and they were on uh, discount so I ended up paying only 32 with nine cents and they are nautica so they are really good and i love the color for my premiere so i didn't spend that much money uh, i almost never keep the receipts because i hardly ever return clothes that i bought but uh, okay so um, let me know what you think about the uh, clothes i'm not going to be showing the outfit until next friday so stay tuned on the video Okay guys, so this is just a quick update on the Barbie vlog. I'm recording this video right now because I'm going to talk to you in a little bit how tomorrow is going to look like for me. So today is Thursday, July 20th. Um, the movie is out already on all movie theaters. I know a lot of people that are going to watch it today. Uh, I know people that watched it the day before. Uh, yesterday, uh, cinemas put something like a Barbie blow party. Um, to be honest, I got the chance to go either yesterday or today, but my work schedule this week has been crazy. I've been doing lots of overtime. I'm not complaining, but since next week I'm going to be on PTO the whole week, I decided to talk to my mom and then I asked her uh, to get tickets for the Friday show at 7.15 p.m. on CMX uh, theaters on the Dolphin Mall that I told you at the beginning of the video. So, uh, it's the day before, I got an email from CMX uh, saying me that I had some reward points that I could use for a free movie ticket or for $5 point share to use some uh, food. So. There is no new, a lot of new movies that I want to go and watch before the year ends. Uh, it's looking pretty bad for Hollywood, so I'm guessing a lot of the movies that were supposed to be coming this year are going to get delayed. That's a reality. So, and I already have like five tickets for free that I still need to use and they're going to expire. So I decided to go with the five dollar bunch, uh, vouch, sorry, um, so I can use it for food. Uh, my outfit is ready, everything is ready for tomorrow, so basically tomorrow I work from 8 a.m. I already told my supervisor that the latest I can get out of the office is 5.30 uh, p.m. because I just want to get home, I want to take a shower, I want to dress with my nice outfit, I will show it to you guys tomorrow. Uh, my mom has uh, her outfit already as well. And I just want to go and be able to do some kind of um, video recording on the movie theaters. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, how the movie theater is going to look uh, for this premiere. Um, they have like this box and I want to take pictures on it. Uh, for me this is the premiere. I know I didn't went, uh, well I wasn't invited anyway. So I didn't went to the worldwide premiere. I'm hoping in the future I can go to those premieres. It will be amazing for me. Uh, but for now, this is my experience. I'm living it. A lot of people are excited to watch Barbie. Um, I, my hopes are high. And can we also thank the, the amazing America Ferrera uh, from Superstore. It's on the movie. I'm dying to see her as well. Uh, next week, Superstore, the complete TV show, it's uh, for the first time in the US, like the complete show is going to be on DVD. Uh, I already got an email from Best Buy saying that it's coming on Sunday, so I'm excited to be doing the unboxing and showing it in the channel. I'm going to be uh, on vacation so I can record a lot of content for the channel. But this main video is for Barbie. 
our uh, pension is for Barbie right now. I hope the world is enjoying it. As soon as I watch it, like I say, I'm going to block a little bit. I'm going to show you the movie theaters and everything. And uh, like I did with the Little Mermaid video, and thank you, the views keep growing. Um, I'm going to be giving you my review and what did I think about the movie. If you already watched it, uh, please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and how the movie was. Um, I can't wait for tomorrow. See you guys again uh, tomorrow. Happy Friday, guys. Happy Barbie day. Uh, I'm just getting out of work. I'm flying home. Um, it's 525 here. It's hot in Miami and I'm wearing black. Today was crazy for me at work, but thankfully I'm out. I'm officially, officially on PTO, so it's going to be a week for me before I go back to work. Uh, that gives me plenty of time to chill, do content, and let's see what plans I made on the way. So my movie is at 7.10 uh, p.m. I've just been hearing good things about this movie. I'm super excited to go and watch it. Uh, my mom is going straight to my home, so what I'm going to do is just fly home. I'm not that far away, thankfully, I'm just like 20 minutes away. Uh, I'm going to take a quick shower, I'm going to do my hair, and then I will show you guys my outfit. I will show you the experience uh, that I'm going to be leaving, uh, going to the movies to watch Barbie. I spent the whole day uh, watching YouTube videos with interviews and everything. And I have a lot of information that I will share once I see the movie and I do the final review at the end of the video, like I said. So yeah, uh, see you guys right now. Okay, uh, I literally flew from work to my house. I took a shower, like I say, Miami it's really hot right now. So the shower is really good appreciated with this weather. So let me show you guys the final outfit that I choose to wear. And like I showed you when I was uh, shopping, these Converse, uh, they were a gift uh, from Christmas. So I just use them. I just choose the t-shirt and the scene. I'm not super wearing everything pink, that wasn't my idea, so I'm really happy with uh, the clothes that I found. I'm just waiting for my mom now so we can head up to the theaters. I like to go early so I can record a little bit and I can just chill. I don't like going to the movies and they start like five minutes from when I got there. I just like to go, take a minute to relax and everything. So yes, everything's ready, super excited to see the movie. See you right now on the Dolphin Mall. So we just made it to the mall. Uh, I have my tickets already, I just need to scan them and they will give it to me. Uh, my mom is with me. Are you excited to watch the movie? Okay, so we're heading there now. We went with time, we found a parking spot. Uh, like I said, I like to be ahead of time so I can be chill and do my lines and anything like that. So I don't know if I'm going to be talking inside the movie theaters. Maybe I'm just going to show you guys how it looks and everything. And then I will talk to you about my experience. Okay guys, let's talk Barbie. Um, I didn't want to pass the day without finishing this video. Um, like I told you when I was at the parking lot, I didn't want to record a lot in the movie theaters. I tried to do some clips uh, like me talking, but it was really loud. Uh, before we get into the movie, uh, let's talk about this. It's such a beautiful experience to be able to go to a movie theater and watch the movie with a bunch of people. Um, I watched it at the 7.15 p.m. Uh, show. It was a full show. Everybody was there. And things that you don't get to experience at your house, 
Um, everybody was wearing pink, I swear. Uh, little girls were happy. Uh, families taking pictures with the poster and everything. So that's something that you experience. Um, and something happened in the showing that I'm going to talk about while I talk about the movie. Let me begin by saying this. Um, the movie theaters that I go, the CMX uh, theaters at the Dolphin Mall, is part of the Cine Bistro, but this one is just a regular uh, movie theater. They put uh, like a box that you can take pictures inside, like a boot. I think they put it way too early. And my guess, people destroy it because uh, I've been seeing it. Last time I went to see Mission Impossible, that was like a week ago and the box was still there so I'm like okay I'm going to wait I'm wearing my pink outfit and I'm going to wait till that day to take pictures on the box the box was gone so I was like man I was really hoping to get pictures there I want a recorder I keep saying to you guys that I want to show you how my movie theater looks mission not accomplished at that point now um, I, uh, like I just saw, I went with my mom. I had a five dollar ticket and I used it. I got a two movie nights. No, the the combo is called movie night lovers. It came with two regular drinks and then the large popcorn. So I got that. Since I have the five dollar coupon, I ended up spending only like thirteen bucks, which is pretty good. And then we went inside the movie. Before I get to the review, let me put something out there and let me know in the comments what do you think about this I hate watching movie trailers I feel like we get so much information on the movie trailers that once you get to see the movie there is a lot of things at least for people like me that pay close attention to detail let's put an example let's say there is a scene in the trailer that the character is there and while you're watching a TV show or a movie you're in that position that you don't know if the character is going to die my mind goes and I'm like, no, but wait, we're still missing the scene that they have the pink shirt for some And that will take out the emotion of it. It's really hard not to watch trailers and spoilers for movies. Well, spoilers not that hard, but at least the... Um, how can I tell this? At least uh, the trailers are hard. Because when you go to the movie theaters, your movie is at 7.15, they will put you like 20 minutes worth of trailers of the new releases and I understand they do that because that's the way they have to make you go to the movie theaters again and this review is going to be spoiler free uh, maybe I will talk a little bit more with a spoiler once I get the physical media release uh, but for now I want to do a review without spoilers now, the first thing that you should know is that this movie is for every gender and every age. It's not a movie meant uh, for kids, like you might think, because it's Barbie, or for little girls. It's a movie that the whole family can enjoy. There is a lot of hiding gems, there is a lot of jokes, there is a lot of things that the kids are going to relate, there is a lot of things that the adults are going to relate. And uh, in that part, the argument on the movie and everything, uh, it's like for the whole family to enjoy. Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, amazing performance. Uh, I've been reading a lot of reviews saying that they didn't like the can, uh, somebody else could be the can. Ryan Gosling did an amazing job and performance on this movie. Margot Robbie, what can I tell you? She, she's amazing. But can we also talk about American Ferrera? Um, I know a lot of people in America knows her from Ugly Betty. I honestly know her from Superstore, a show that I love, and her representation in this movie was beyond limits. It was her monologue, and this is what I want to talk about the movie experience on the movie theaters. As soon as she finished that monologue that she had from the movie, everybody was clapping. It was an amazing monologue, it was the first time that I almost cried. I did cry a little bit, I'm not ashamed to recognize it. The movie is emotional, it's fun. Out of 10, I give it a 9. Uh, I just don't give it a 10 because it's not the perfect movie, but for summertime, it's an amazing movie. 
uh, you will enjoy the music, you will enjoy the colors, you will enjoy everything. And the reason I just giving it a nine is because there is a lot of things that you're going to see coming because of the trailer, or at least that's what happened for me. But there is a lot of plot twists. The ending, I'm telling you right now, you don't going to expect the movie to end that way. The this is something that everybody knows. The human wars with Barbie Land, it's super well connected. You can see the difference. And like I told you way at the beginning, I spent the whole day watching interviews. Uh, the director say that she was intended to have everything on the screen. That it wants you make it. I mean, it it want it makes you wanna touch it. That's so true. The food, everything out there. I was like, man, I want to be there. I want to take pictures there, so whatever. Um, it's a little bit less than two hours long. When I'm telling you, I didn't even look at the clock. The movie went like this. That's how much I was enjoying it. The parties, um, everything about this movie is amazing. Great, great release for the summertime. I love that it's making money. I love that everybody's going to the movie theaters and watching, and everybody's enjoying it in certain ways. Now, uh, after the movie was done, I talked to my mom and I'm like, "Do you want to go someplace else to have some drinks?" Uh, because I took her out and everything. And then we went to this place. Uh, the place is on. I live on Doral. And the place is called City Place or all. They have like this exposition for the summertime, like with balls and everything. And I actually went there because I want to see the balls uh, hanging there and everything. Okay, so that's close to the Cine Bistro where I went with my Queen of Hell to watch The Little Mermaid. Now, once we were finished at the bar, I'm like, Mom. Let's walk inside these movie theaters. It's CMX as well, so I already paid for the movie ticket. If they tell me anything, to be honest, nobody told me anything, so thank you so much for that. To see if they have the box, because I actually want to take pictures on that box. As soon as I open the door, they have the exposition there. And mission accomplished. I was able to take pictures. I was able to record some videos and I'm going to show you the good. Uh, that's all the good parts. This is not a bad thing, it's just a, a CMX. Uh, when I went, at least I had the idea that I wanted about um, at least the green cups with the movie poster and everything. They didn't do it for Barbie, uh, they didn't have any promo. And with a movie that made so much promotion, I thought that they were going to do it. Uh, they actually give you free posters a lot. I got the one from The Little Mermaid that is hanging right there. Uh, I got the one from Mission Impossible, Warrior of the Galaxy, and for Barbie, they didn't have any. I'm going really soon to watch another movie, so if they have some, I will let you know. But for now, on premiere week, they didn't have any kind of extra things that they will give it to you. And yeah, that's my opinion of the movie. Uh, give yourself the opportunity to go and watch it. Like I said, you're not going to be disappointed. It's not a stupid movie or a stupid comedy. It's a good movie, have a good message behind it. The actress and actors are great. Like I said, the music is great. So 9 out of 10, at least my personal opinion. Um, it's so fun for me to be doing these vlogs and I love that you guys are liking it. Thank you so much for all the support I'm giving. I've been getting and we just hit 20k today. Thank you so much for all the people that we've been with me for so many years. Uh, I'm so sorry that I'm not making the kind of content that I used to do. I love doing that content, to be honest, I haven't had the time to do those kind of videos and to be honest, I just don't want to get into trouble uh, because at the end of the day, it, that might happen, I had a lot of copyright issues on the channel and everything, so I just want to start clean, um, I want to leave up to Nick Holden, the name, uh, because that was my plan since I moved to the US, I was just trying to get the courage to get in front of the camera and to have at least the knowledge of the English to be able to. When I came to the US, I, at least I was able to speak it and I understand 90% of it, but I 
didn't want to go and we'll record videos with not such a great English, which I still need to develop it a lot and get better on it. Uh, that's always my personal mission. But thank you so much for all the support I've been getting, guys. And that will be all for this vlog. I just wishing you guys the best. I hope you guys are going to the movie theaters and enjoying this amazing movie. But that will be all for today's video. Uh, like, I, like I always say, I hope you guys are enjoying with this new kind of content in the channel. If you are, please let me know in the comments, leave me a like, and please keep subscribing to my YouTube channel so we can keep this YouTube family growing. And see you guys again soon on a new video. Bye.